Because I am in Korea. Yay! Sarah. Hey. 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 Hey.
hindi nila tatanggapin kung may mali. So, nakorek ko, nagpa-picture ako, tinanggap na nila. Tapos, of course, original passport. Na make sure valid ng 6 months. And, kailangan mong isirox yung mga tatak, existing visa, arrival stamps, yung countries na napuntahan mo um, during the last 5 years. Kailangan mong ipasirox yan. Nasa passport lang naman natin yan. So, kailangan mo lang yan i- ipasirox. And, you're all good. Tapos, um, original certificate of employment. Ito, very important to. Kasi, yun na nga, like I said, kailangan may trabaho to be able to get visa. Kasi, pag wala kang trabaho, hindi ka nila bibigyan ng visa. So, yung original certificate of employment, kukunin mo lang yan sa employer mo, sa boss mo, you just have to ask for it. Na, kailangan may perma nila na, alam mo yun, kung hanggang kailan pa yung kontrata mo, as much as possible, nandun yung details. And also, personal bank certificate and bank statement. Magkaiba yan. Bank certificate, bank statement. Bank statement, yan yung history ng mga bank transactions mo, yung bank records mo for the last 3 months. Last 3 months yung kailangan sa bank statement. So, pag pumunta ka sa banko mo, kahit anong banko yan, you just have to tell them na kailangan mo para sa... Korean visa, let's say. So, alam na nila yan. Yung Japan kasi, hindi, hindi required sa kanila yung bank statement. Bank certificate lang. Bank certificate, 100,000 pesos above. All good na yan. Good to go na yan. So, i-release nila yan. Madali lang yan kunin sa banko. Um, unless, mahaba yung pila, knowing Philippines. Pero okay lang yan. Mabilis lang yan. Um, what else? ITR. This is also important. Of course, you have to be a taxpayer to be able to get this. So, yung, kung may TIN number ka, and then, kailangan lang na pumunta ka sa BIR, sasabihin mo lang sa kanila na kailangan mo ng ITR. So, tatanoy ka nila para saan? Saan ka mapupunta? Sabihin mo, as a tourist in Korea or kung saan, mo, saan man yung desired na place na gusto mong puntahan. Kung baga, basic yan, ITR. Kailangan taxpayer ka para makakuha ka ng visa. So, eto na nga. Luckily, I got multiple entry visa. That, that easy. So, sabi nila kasi dati, kailangan tatlong punta. So, yeah, sinabi ko na kanina, paulit-ulit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> anyway, and maganda rin kung marami kayong tatak sa passport. So, ako kahit marami may mga tatak na ako sa passport, um, hindi pa rin ako confident na baka, alam mo yon minsan I have this fear na, ah, baka madinay ako or eh. Kasi iba-iba yung law, ba <laughs> Iba-iba yung law, ba Pero, I'm so lucky na I got a multiple entry visa for Korea. So, I can travel back and forth for the next 5 years and I can stay for 1 month. Yun yung maganda ng multiple visa kasi pwede ka magstay ng 1 month. So, I'll show you my um my visa. I'll show you na multiple shot. Here. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it but there. So, multiple na kalagay. So, ayun. Very easy. For me, technique, kailangan lang kompleto yung lahat ng requirements mo. And also, um, this is important, huwag na huwag ka munang bibili ng ticket hanggat wala kang visa. Kasi syempre, ayaw nating magsayang ng pera. So, you have to make sure na approve yung visa mo para hindi sayang yung pera bago ka mag-book ng ticket. And usually, 3 to 5 working days bago nila i-release yung visa. So, that's very fast. Basta, you have to make sure na kompleto lahat ng requirements mo and na walang mali. So, okay, let's do a quick recap. Um, for application form, strictly A4 size and nakatype, of course, with your signature. Kailangan, hindi mandipis yung klase ng papel para hindi ibalik like what happened to me. Visa picture, kung ano yung itsura mo sa passport. Kung nakapusod yung buhok mo sa passport, ganun din yung um, ipasa mong visa picture pag nagpa-picture ka sa photo studio. Kung nakalugay ka, kung ganyan, ganyan din dapat. So, hindi kailangan maiba. So, bank certificate, bank statement, um, sa bank ko lang yan, madali lang yan. Um, ako, yan yung huli kong kinukuha kasi one month validity lang yan. Hindi siya matagal yung validity niya. Kaya yan yung lagi kong huling kinukuha sa lahat ng um, requirements pag kumukuha ako ng visa. Um, ITR, BIR lang yan. You just have to go to the BIR to get it. Um, the rest, photocopies na. Photocopies ng mga visa mo, tatak, arrival stamps, and um, bio page ng passport. Yung may details natin. And, um, um, what else? 
I guess that's it. Um, certificate of employment, it's very important. So, you have to make sure completo lahat for you to be able to get multiple entry visa and enjoy Korea. Okay, so, hopefully guys, natulungan ko kayo sa um, pagkuha ng uh, multiple entry visa. Kahit na single entry visa, I think same requirements. So, um, you just have to try. So, minsan kasi tayo yung mga Pinoy, I'm, alam mo yon. minsan ako dati, ala, natatakot ako, baka hindi ako ma-approve, or ganyan, ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Alam mo yun, um, kailangan lang natin maging positive lagi. So, always look at the brighter side. Um, basta, kaya natin yan. You just have to try. Kasi, pag di natin try, hindi natin malalaman. And, of course, sasamahan mo ng dasal na ma-approve ka para mas siguradong ma-approve. So, I guess I'm done with this vlog. Um, I hope natulungan ko kayo sa mga tips and do's and don'ts. Um, so, sana nag-enjoy kayo sa pananood ng vlog na to. And, sana makakuha rin kayo ng multiple entry visa or single entry if it's your first time of applying a visa. So, thank you guys for watching! It's time for me to enjoy Korea! Come see me back!